Hi, welcome back to the another design pattern, abstract factory design pattern. So this is a fourth one in our list, and we are discussing our abstract factory. So this is a fourth one. So let's see what is a abstract factory, and then we will move to like what problem it can solve and implement it in Java. So what is abstract factory design pattern? So this is bit confusing. Okay, uh, so give me a just. Uh, two to five minutes, I will uh, think. But uh, why I'm saying it is very confusing, uh, I don't to uh, make a moral down. But this sentence which you will be reading here, this will be called simple design factor, it will make you a little bit confused. Okay, but do not worry about it. Abstract factory is a creational design pattern that let you produce similar or off related object without specifying the concrete class. If you don't understand it, don't worry about it. I will make you explain. But it is saying like family area related. Let's suppose you want to create a similar object. Yeah, this is an object of I. Right? You want to create a similar objects like this. Then you can use this abstract factory design pattern without specifying their concrete classes or without modifying their existing. In this video, I will be sharing uh, two examples with you. One is layman terms, Java example. Okay, first we will be understanding uh, with the help of like what problem it can solve. Let's see. The problem is imagine that you are creating a fur uh, furniture shop. You just uh, or you went to a furniture shop, okay, and in that furniture shop you are having these options coffee table so that same i written here you are making a like creating a furniture shop simulation your code consists of classes represent let's forget about the first line right you will be understanding better a family of related product in your shop or in your code whatever you are understanding that is chair sofa coffee table and all so, like you can uh, see these are the families right furniture similar furniture and this furniture can be come into the like lot of varieties like modern type olden type so the varieties are modern like victorian and art deco it so this one is a art deco okay and this is a victorian like old one okay uh golden days one and this is a modern one i hope you are getting it so what I want to say, there is a problem. Like suppose if someone make uh, these two chairs, okay, this and so they want uh, this coffee table as similar to this one only, a Victorian only. If what you will do, like if you do these two chair to someone, okay, this one and then this one, and you give this table, so this will look some odd, right? Or you give this table, so this will not look nice. So that's why what happened you need a way to create an individual furniture object so that they match other objects of the same family that's what i am saying right? and customer is get quite mad when they receive non-matching furniture obviously when you go to any shop right you will getting like this like this is your two chair right and you got a furniture a modern type or something yeah something went wrong or something is wrong uh, it's not look nice so you will directly call a hey, i ordered something all right and you ordered something else <laughs> okay so this is an one example okay but let me make you understand uh, another one so first example is clear let me know to clear this. so same example let's you have a computer okay and you have a server your computer having different different specifications and your hard disks or some other specification same goes for your server now if this for this configuration like you are having i5 or and 5 gb ram or i can say like 16 gb or 15 gb like 8 gb ram you are having. Okay. so i want you to make another system for me with this similar configuration if someone if this customer this uh, this one person let give me the name a 
he ordered a system uh, like your PC with this configuration and he asked you to order another one like he ordered the 5 PC he asked to order uh, like 6th one the same configuration but you give with like 4 GB RAM and he want SSD you give with HSD and he want a uh, like uh, embedded graphic card with 4 GB you give with 2 GB then again he will say bloody what are you doing I am looking for something else and you are giving me something else so this is a problem so how we will solve this so what is the solution of it this design pattern says you like as per chair right we will implement with computer okay so this is saying if you are using like you are how many product you are having in your system that is like modern chair or like victorian chair just made a one common interface and they will extend both the things and give their own implementation right and one more thing how many things product you are using like products you are using in your system you will be creating an interface and you are using a factory then for factory also like factory class also you are need to make first interface so i know this is very uh, confusing first time come to the okay so if you check here uh, let me first uh, close all these because directly i make you to explain okay. this is a computer which i have discussed with you right this computer having some abstract properties the method right you need to give implementation a class which uh, implements this uh, class or extend sorry this is a class so extend it will be giving a implementation of get ram get hs get cp this is a two string map for get it you so now i am having a two product one is server and one is pc so pc class extend my computer and giving implementation one two three Okay. and in this method i am just using very clever i am just a spec m or in cpu that what i discussed with you right and you are having one parametric same goes with a server same property same data setter now this thing is final we are making interface and we are just uh, extending it why i am doing this because in future if you want a pc with some other configuration just accent this class and give your implementation right now you will get more idea about it i hope you are understanding but in upcoming five minutes you will 100 percent now listen we have discussed pc server now i want to make a pc right? i want to make a server uh, i'm giving to uh, this responsibility to someone what i told you on previous slides Whatever you are doing, whatever product you are making, one interface class abstract. For this, I will just make an interface. That called create a computer. So at the end, you know that right? Server also have one computer, PC also one computer, right? Okay, giving a different name because I want to make you an example. Now create a computer and we are giving an interface. This abstract computer abstract factory should be implemented. Computer factory because we want to make a computer. And now sorry my bad not a computer factory but pc factory and a server factory right because we want to make a pc and we want to make a server so this particular interface which is saying create computer is implemented by a pc factory okay and here i am just giving implementation this like whatever the pc factory object like uh, values attributes come they will be set line number 10 11 12 on this attributes i will be using those in my new pc giving an object of computer and why we are giving a computer object because it is a child class all the pc and a child class of computer now perfect now what i talking about this computer factory this computer factory is saying whatever the computer abstract factory matter and what is the abstract factory this is an interface right and what is the child classes of it the pc factory and abstract factory Whatever object you will passing, I will use that object and call a create factory. This method I will call. And I will give you, I will give you the return that create factory. What create? Give me the PC. Like if I pass a PC factory, they will give me the PC object. 
by part 7 factory is given a server object. Hope this is clear, right? Now jump to the client. In client, you are saying computer PC. I want a PC object. Computer factory? Perfect. Why I am saying computer factory? Because this is a computer factory class. In computer factory, you are having a create computer. Like, sorry, get computer. And it is using a create computer. In get computer, you are passing an object of computer abstract. Okay. I hope you are getting it. So, here I get computer because I am using computer factory and it is get computer. Get computer and new PC factory. New PC factory child class of which one? Computer abstract factory. This one, and you are passing this a specification. Any so now, if I run this program in future, if you want uh, some other uh, familiar or, or similar kind of product, you just pass to this kind of computer factory. Right, will be getting uh, your configuration and similar kind of product. So this can you can follow in the chair and or in that approach. So if you have not understand or have any problems, play this video again. Okay, you will be get understand. I know this is difficult, but this learning is first time. If you are liking this series or it is helpful for you, please do subscribe and hit. That. I will see you on the next video. Another design factory pattern. Oh, sorry, another uh, pattern. Take care and bye bye.